In this video on Google Photos, uh, we're going to look at how the syncing process works across multiple devices. Google Photos works across a number of platforms, the Android platform, iOS, and on the web. And in order to access Google Photos on a mobile device, you need to download the appropriate app. When you're signed in to your Google account on any device, then that device can be used to access Google Photos and syncing will occur on that device. Now in this example here on the left is Google Photos on the web and that's accessed from photosgoogle.com and that's your main Google Photos library. Any photo that I take on another device like an iPad or a camera will end up in the main library and can be accessed on any other device. In the middle is the iPhone, which has a Google Photos app. So if I open Google Photos on the iPhone, you'll see the exact same photos that you can see in the main library. And if I open it up on the iPad, that too has the same photo. So everything is synced. All the photos that are in the main library can be accessed from both the iPhone and the iPad. Now if I take a picture with the iPad's camera, and I'll just take a picture of my bookcase, then I can see that picture in the camera roll on the iPad. So if I open up the Photos app, there's the picture at the bottom there of the bookcase, and that's the original photo, that's the source. As soon as I take a picture on a mobile device, because I have auto backup turned on by default, that photo will immediately be uploaded to Google Photos. And the speed of how fast it takes to get to my main library will depend on your internet connection. So if I open up Google Photos on the iPad, that photo is being uploaded to Google Photos and you can see the uh, the little spinning circle there to indicate that it's being uploaded. And how quick it gets there depends on my upload speed. You can see it's not there yet on the iPhone. I can't see that photo. And on the actual main library, it's still not there. If I was to refresh it, the main library, it's still not there because you can see on the iPad that it's still in the process of being uploaded. So that's finished. So if I now go and refresh, let's move this over. Refresh the page on the web version. It should now be there. You can see it is. It's, it's just being loaded now. That picture is now there in the main library so that I can access it from any other device. So if I refresh Google Photos on the phone, I should now be able to see that photo. So I'm just holding it down to refresh. It doesn't take too long. A minute or two, sometimes quicker. Google Photos on the iPhone has now been synced with the main library so I can now see that picture that I just took today. So that every device that is signed into Google Photos should be able to see the same photos. If I delete this photo from the Google Photos library, it will also disappear from Google Photos app on the iPhone and on the iPad. So let's try that. I'm going to delete it and trash it. And it's going to be removed from all synced devices and the Google Photos library. And if it was in an album, it would be removed from an album. Let's just remove it. It's gone from the main library. It's still sitting in the iPhone library at the moment. It's still sitting in the iPad library at the moment, but we've got to wait for that syncing to occur before it's removed. It's gone off the iPad. As soon as you go onto a different menu item, it seems to disappear. Now it's gone from the iPad. There's no longer any instance of that photo except for the original source. Go out of Google Photos, on the iPad, back into the Photos app, it's still sitting there in the camera roll because that's the source. 